All right. Uh, good morning, everybody. Welcome in. I um, just wanted to show you um, a little bit about how to use the patient portal and what the patient sees um, when using the patient portal. So uh, I'm on a test patient here. I'm going to go ahead and go to Hub and create a new web encounter. And from here on the new web encounter, um, the place where the portal messaging is active is down here in action taken. So I could timestamp um, and I can write uh, whatever my message is to my patient. Um, so I could write a portal message or whatever it may be about lab results or whatever the communication may be, and then I click reply to patient. So again, take home message here, you have to write it in action taken. And the reason we do it through a web encounter is because then it actually gets recorded as an encounter. There are other ways to send portal messages, but they don't aren't readily visible to providers kind of reviewing the chart. So I click reply to patient. Um, you have to put in a reason here. Checking in, then I click uh, reply to patient, and that opens kind of an email looking um, page here um, in which it's all ready to go and then I click send message creating successfully and then I can go ahead and close this because when the patient responds it's not going to come back directly on this encounter you can go ahead and close it um, so I'm going to go ahead and close that and then um, let's say I'm a patient uh, I'm CP test and I uh, just got a email message saying I have a new secure um, new secure message. So I log into Patient Portal. This is off our CAC website, but there is a link right on their email to this. Um, I'm going to go ahead and log into the portal here. Um, and this is kind of what the opening page looks like. So down on the left side band here, I've got my medical records labs um, that I can review, uh, labs that I can see of mine that have been done. I have all the visit summaries of visits when I've been seen before. Um, so if I open these up, um, you can see the PDF. Um, it looks just like the progress. And again, it's just the um, bottom portion of the note, the assessment and the plan, uh, allergies, medication lists. Um, and then uh, personal health record is kind of a summary of all uh, of all of your care. It takes a minute to load typically. But the biggest thing is uh, right here on messages. So if I look at my inbox, um, here it is. Here's that message I just barely sent today. Um, I click on this and it says uh, there's the exact message I sent. Now I can reply. Say hi, Chris. I'm feeling better. Whatever the message may be, and then I can click submit. And now I've uh, sent a message back to the practice, um, stating, uh, responding to the message. So if I open up now this patient's account, there should be a new. Um, message here. Let's give it a second to refresh. In fact, if I go ahead and close this out here. There we go. Should refresh here, so I'm going to get an encounter. At some point, it will come to the practice. It actually is assigned to the phone center, and then the phone center sends them a message back and saying, we'll get this along to your provider. It will take might take 24 to 48 hours to respond. And again, the, um, the um, portal should not be used for urgent communications. Um, sorry, got this other stuff going on. Um, so from there, um, I should at some point, that maybe takes a few minutes to hit the server and come back, so we'll keep waiting. There it is. So now here is the encounter as it comes back, and you'll see that it's assigned to the phone center once I open it up here. Uh, 
Hi Chris, I'm feeling better, thanks. And you can see the original message comes up down here below. And so you have kind of a, an ongoing communication now, but it is through separate encounters, but it does copy the information into each one of them. Um, so yeah, that's basically how you can exchange an email or a message, a secure message with a patient. You can feel free to put any sort of uh, secure patient health related information, PHI, anything that uh, you would feel comfortable sending, um, that you would feel comfortable writing in their chart can go in here because it's a secure portal message. So, And so that's basically um, how to use the patient portal and uh, how to send messages. A couple other features of the portal. Uh, I could go ahead and reply right there if I wanted to, by the way. A couple other features of the portal. Um, I pull this up here. Um, you can request refills. Patients can. And, um, those go directly to um, to the refill box. Um, you can request a lab. I haven't had any patients do that as of yet. Um, you can request a referral. Um, I haven't had any patients do that yet. You can ask just to practice a general question. Um, actually, this is how you can pose your normal, just your general question for your provider. Um, I can review my appointments. There are portal questionnaires, which we haven't quite got to, to function as of yet, but you can um, send them a portal questionnaire, it's called, which has different uh, it's a questionnaire, so you can create actually data that can be that does directly pop into HPI and review system fields. Um, if you build those templates out, um, we haven't had much success with version 10 and getting those to work. We've only played around with them a little bit, but supposedly they're supposed to be optimized in 10E, which is coming any day now. Um, but yeah, and patients can also update their surgical history, their um, hospitalizations if they got hospitalized without your knowledge. And they're a very savvy patient. They might go in here and update their surgical history. Um, so yeah, that's basically uh, patient's portal from their vantage point. Um, here's a bunch of um, messages that we've been alerting people about flu vaccine. Um, yeah, here's my current medication list for this test patient. Um, they can kind of flip through all their medicines, view all their meds here, med refill request. So yeah, but basically just want to show people how to write a message and how to respond to a message on the patient portal. Hopefully most know how to do that. Um, and then briefly um, back in ACW, I showed you the um, the feature uh, where you can review the visit summaries in progress notes. Um, wanted to show you this field um, right here is the one that actually does get. So when you are in a progress note, um, this notes section right here does get published to the patient portal. This clinical notes does not. Um, I've moved my settings to have my default to clinical notes. You can do that in file settings, my settings. Um, but patients can view what is uh, what what your kind of written plan is right there if you write information in that area. Um, but yeah, that's uh, just a couple portal basics in a nutshell. Um, send along any questions if you have them. Thanks.